How you doing everybody? Today, I'll be showing y'all how to change the differential gasket on this 1966 AMC Ambassador. We're down underneath the car and as you can see, there's a lot of moisture coming from this bottom part here, which is a telltale sign of a bad gasket and all of this is kind of moist up and around here so we're going to take these uh these bolts off here and try to fix that up for them the first thing you're going to want to do when you deal with the differential and anything that's going to take the fluids out is find your fill hole now you want to get this off before you touch anything else because after taking this front plate off here if you can't get your fill hole off then you've got to tow the thing to a shop where they can get the fill hole off. Um, this one right here is a 7 8 socket. We'll put that on there and take that off. Next thing we're going to do is find the size for these bolts here. And it's a 1 half inch. And uh, before we start taking those off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a drip pan, put it down here. So when I start taking all of these off, I've got something for all that gear oil to drain into. So I've got enough of the bolts out now. I've still got the ones on the top, but I've got enough of them out so that you can see the old gear oil that's coming out. And you can see how dirty that is. Um, I'm not seeing any metal shavings yet, which is a good sign. Just bubbles. Um, if I start to see metal shavings, then that's always a, uh, an indication of a lot of wear and tear going on in here. But this thing's only got about 40,000 miles on it, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't see anything in there. So as you can see, we have got the, uh, the differential uh, cover off. And here would be the old gasket. Take that off ever so gently. Looks like she'll come off in one piece, which is great. Means I don't have to do much work in terms of cleanup. Just wipe it down a little bit. And uh, I'm going to take a magnet and go through there, see if there's any metal shavings or anything. Um, but as far as the wear goes, it does not look bad by any means. Um, this looks pretty much exactly how it should, which is amazing. Um, and then uh, we're going to throw the new gasket on and put this cover on after I clean it up a little bit. And uh, we'll be moving from there. As you guys can see here, I put a little bit of uh, RTV on the uh differential gasket and what that'll do is basically help me uh put it into place and and keep it there while i uh, line up the cover and, and as well as help it seal for the future so that nothing else uh you know leaks out if you can see in there i've got the new gasket in and i just stuck it in with rtv i'm gonna let that set for a minute that way when i put the cover on uh if i end up hitting it in some way when i'm putting the cover on it doesn't you know come off immediately um, as well as, you know, I put that cloth in there so uh, none of the, the excess oil that's in there drips down onto that, that bottom part of the gasket. Um, that way, you know, it doesn't um, inhibit the RTV from drying and setting so that that bottom part will, uh, will set as well. And uh, I'm going to clean off the cover while, uh, while I'm waiting for that to dry. So, we got the uh, differential cover back on. Let me wipe this little dripper off. There we go, cool. Um, so how we're gonna tighten these bolts is you're gonna start from the bottom and you're gonna go to the top. And you go to the next one on the bottom and the next one over on the top and the next one over on the bottom and the next one over on the top and then the side one and then this other side one and then that one and that one and you will be done. Um, after you do the crisscross a couple of times and uh, you do that crisscross to make sure you don't um, tighten it on one side and it's not tight on the other that'll end up bending your uh, your cap and cause leaks so we're gonna make sure we tighten it down the right way to uh, avoid future leaks and uh, that'll conclude everything once we're done tightening so the differential ended up taking about three or sorry two quarts of uh, gear oil 75w90 uh, got that in put the cap back on and she's good uh, we'll come back a little later uh, next time I end up working on this thing and see if it ends up leaking nice car I like it but that'll be it for today. Thank y'all for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe button, leave a comment if you want to see something, and hit the bell icon to never miss another video. Thank y'all.